Upwards of six inches of rain fell across the South Shore in Cohasset. The rain closed parts of Route 3A and stranded a car. And that flooding was just as bad over in Braintree. This is Union Street right off Route 3 South near the major shopping plaza. This is a storm that we're not going to forget for a long time. And it seems that we're getting hit with major rainfall like this more often. WBZ meteorologist Alyssa Andrews looks at what's driving it. It seems that the phrase, when it rains, it pours, has become more relevant in recent years. This morning's deluge was just the latest in a series of high impact rainfall and flooding events. 2023 brought record amounts of rain with more than 17 inches in Boston in just July and August alone. That was followed up by the historic flooding that occurred in Lemonster in September of 2023. More than nine inches of water fell on September 11th, causing sinkholes, washed out roadways and devastating damage to some homes. This week alone has brought two high impact flooding events in less than 48 hours. This morning, some towns like Weymouth and Hingham received more than six inches of rain in less than six hours. This is considered to be a one in 200 year event, which means there's a half percent chance of occurrence in any given year. But events like these seem to be happening at a greater and greater frequency. So what's going on? Are these just random occurrences? Or is our weather changing? It is hard to blame climate change for any one single weather event, but the evidence is mounting. There's no denying that our climate is warming, and with each one degree increase in temperature, our atmosphere can hold an additional 4% more water. So in the city of Boston, over the last 50 years, these high intensity rainfall events have actually increased by 8%. And over the last several decades, as the climate has warmed, the most extreme precipitation days have intensified in every major U.S. region, led by the Northeast at 60%. So the bottom line is we are likely to experience more weather extremes in the years to come and events like this morning now considered to be a one in 200 year occurrence may be more commonplace. Alyssa Andrews, WBZ News. So a warmer atmosphere is a wetter atmosphere. Yes, it can be. So the potential is always there. You always still need a trigger, right? So right. sometimes, you know, the ocean's always warm enough for hurricanes in the summer, but sometimes mm -hmm. you have hurricanes and sometimes you don't. You still need the right things to come together to squeeze some of that potential out of the atmosphere. But this is the thing that really has stuck out the most to us, I think, the last 20 years, this increase in heavy precipitation events, not just rain, but snow. When it snows now, it snows a lot more right. than in the past. We have more big storms now than we used to. Wow.